already know the square I be, dog. I ain't being cocky, but Philly, what I'm rapping, watch me check it like it's hockey. I ain't trying to get it twisted. If you get it, then you got me. If you with it, cool. If not, I'll treat you like a Tamagotchi. I'ma let you down point. Yeah, I never get What's going on guys, j Hoyt back with you today. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than normal. Usually I have a gameplay already ready and you know then we're going to talk about probably something. But in this one, what we're here today to talk about is the fact that I just lost this game. But not only how I lost this game, but the goals that were scored in this. So this game is going to be kind of uh, how this guy scored compared to how I scored. So... I just want to go over that obviously this doesn't happen all the time this is just in uh, I guess select games so I can't say no this is every game but there's a lot of things that happen in most games that are just absolutely annoying and the fact that they keep happening to me is extremely annoying and I just want to bring it to light in case this has happened to anyone else and this is annoying any other people other than me so the final score is five to four we made it into overtime somehow and let's go to all periods, go to the goal. So let's start right at the bottom here. So I believe I'm going to end up opening up the scoring. So I, obviously these are just the instant replay clips. I don't have the full game because I was not recording during the game. But what ends up happening in this first clip, let's just hit play on it. And so we're just going to wait a nice little patient play. I know it was a bit fast. The so kind of replay didn't do it justice. So let's slow it down a little bit. So I had Mark Shifley. And as for you guys that are new, my team is a lot different than the last video you guys saw. So I will go over that, you know, in another video. But either way, so we are down in the right-hand side with Mark Shifley. I see uh, Jordan Everly over there on the left-hand side getting blocked right now. So I'm like, all right, let's be patient here. I'm okay, so he's controlling the guy that's on Everly. And I'm just going to kind of wait patiently, wait patiently. And then he's going to kind of bump his own guy. And we're going to end up cross-cursing it to him. And he's just going to put it in. Goalie has no clue what's going on. Easy one nothing goal. I think that was a couple minutes into the game, I think, as well. Okay, maybe not. So it was... So it was about halfway through, if not a little bit before that, in the first period. So then he goes on a little bit of a streak, a three-goal streak, about a minute after I scored. So let's go see how incredibly he scored this one. So I'm controlling the guy. I don't remember which one. So I'm controlling the guy that's in the neutral zone over there. He's going to be pushing in with a two on, two on two with a third guy coming, and then, uh, you know, the rest of my guys are far. Okay, so it looks like it's uh, is it a three on four? I don't know what it is, but either way. He's coming into the zone with, I think this is Backstrom, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is Backstrom. Okay, so he's got Backstrom, and I'm going to switch on to this guy, right? Poke checks it. Now, where'd the puck go? It did, It barely moved, even though I poke checked it, right? And it just bounces off. So I poke check. My stick just goes the complete opposite direction of where I, where I want to do that. So... Am I doing something wrong here? Probably not, but either way. So the poke check somehow bounces completely off. And he's going to end up kind of throwing it between my legs here and then going uh, and getting the puck. So, all right, at this point, I'm like, all right, no big deal. You know, probably something stupid happened, but let's just keep on with the play. So I'm going to stick on the Justin Falk here. I'm going to poke check it again. Did you see that one? Poke check did nothing. Absolutely nothing. So it goes through his legs. No tripping call. Of course not. And then I... Do I switch? Oh, yeah, I do switch onto this one. Okay. So then this is, uh, is this Scott Niedermeyer? I think it is a 92 overall card. I believe so. Is that Niedermeyer? Yep, it is. All right. So Scott Niedermeyer, first line left defense. Actually, right defense. But he shoots left-handed, so you guys get the point. But anyway, so I'm going to come in with a 92 overall defenseman and try to poke check this. I'm going to poke check it. Where do you, I'm going to give you guys three seconds. Where do you think this stick and puck goes? Three, two, one wrong every single one of you are wrong it misses somehow and goes into my own net somehow but wait did you see that it looked a little funny didn't it let's let's watch it again so let's go a little bit slowly here so we're gonna poke check the puck it's gonna go there somehow go through his stick and then it's gonna look a little bit weird wait are you guys seeing the same thing i am let's go back a little bit here so we're going to go to a little bit of a different camera angle. We're going to take off this little circle so you guys can see the puck a little bit better. So right here is where we poke check it, right? Let me get a, let me try to get right in the middle here. All right, look at... Okay, get out of the way, Justin Falk. So right here, look at this. Look at it. Somehow my pad's off the ice, which never happens in a butterfly, just saying. But then somehow it goes through my pad. It goes through it. Look at this. And then can I also just say how this puck magically... Uh, goes flat after being on its side 
Can I also just say that? So then we got, look at this, look at it, right through my pad. If this guy was in a butterfly, there would be no space there unless he's lifting up his leg, which he isn't. So tell me how this one makes sense. So he, it goes through my pad and unrealistic puck physics. That's great, right? So immediately after that goal, I'm like, all right, I poke checked it, you know, kind of got screwed with that one. Let's get, let's get back into the play and try to hope for uh, a better luck next time. You know, after that goal, I'm like, all right, let's just regain here. So we get to the second goal. All right. So now, like I said, we're in the instant replay after the game. So I can't really show the full play. But this guy really loved to spin. Now, if you guys remember a couple years back, they changed spinning. So usually when you spin, you lose the puck. So then it was like not a viable option to use unless you're just trying to avoid a hit or something, right? Usually you could not do this. So this guy was flawlessly spinning the entire game, which really annoyed me because it's so hard not to take a penalty. But I'm going to be on with, I think this is Keith Yandel, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, it is. Okay, so he, I'm going to be defensive skill sticking because that's like the only thing I know how to do as far as defense. Because if not, then I'm just going to take a penalty. So uh, on this defensive skill stick, I'm, you know, swinging my stick around. So for some reason, my guy's facing the boards. Don't really know why that's happening. But either way, so he gets in here. He goes around my guy. I think he's going to try to shoot it here. Yeah, so he gets bumped from behind by, is that Hoffman? I think it is, by Hoffman. So, okay, he gets hit from behind a little bit. Not hit from behind, but bumped from behind to where he was going to, you know, not be able to shoot it. Very good. So, all right, it's going to hit Yandel in the butt. No big deal there. All right, so Yandel's got the puck right in the middle. All right. So what I tried to do, and as you could look on the bottom right-hand side of your screen, the two little circles. Now, if you guys don't or aren't aware of the instant replay stuff, the one on the left is my left stick, and the one on the right is my right stick, okay? So now, obviously, you're not going to be able to see anything with the right stick here, I don't think. But on the left-hand side, I want you to pay attention to the little tiny gray circle at the top of this, you know, of the top of the red circle. That's where my stick is, right? It's pointing straight forward down the ice. So the face, the, the way we're facing right now is where I'm trying to pass it to, anywhere that way. Right, I, I don't remember who I was trying to pass it to here. Either Hoffman or I think that's Shifley in the middle there. I'm like, all right, I just want to get it out of here. You know, this guy's put on a lot of pressure. I need, to, I think I need to get a line change pretty badly. So I was like, you know what? Let's just get it out of here. Hopefully get out of the zone and then let's get a line change. So then we get into the point where I try to pass it forward. So then it takes forever to pass it. So I have to hit it twice. And at that point, it doesn't pass it the way I want it. So it passes it like a schoolgirl. Somehow, I, don't, I think it's the guy in front of the net here. I think, is this Horvat? No, it's Skinner. Okay, so Skinner somehow manages to just somehow block me or block my stick in some way. And I just completely whiff. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how this happened. But somehow I completely whiff. And then somehow it, the momentum from me carrying it somehow allows it to go underneath my goalie's pad again. Now, you guys remember on the last one how it went through the pad? Well, through all this commotion here, let me just try to go a little close up here. Now, this might not be the best camera view, but uh, let's just play it slowly here. And it goes through the pad again. And once again, it is off the ice, which never happens. So for this, was this the second time in a row? It goes through the pad off some crap goal. So at this point, I'm like, all right, this guy's gotten given two goals in a row. I'm mad. You know, let's try to regain here. You know, we got, I think it's three minutes or four minutes left in the second, in the first period. Let's get out of this period. You know, we'll start fresh in the second period. So not too far into the second period. You know, I'm like, I'm playing all right and starting off the second period. You know, I had a couple of good chances, but then he, he comes along with his guy. Now I want you to guys notice something. There is three guys basically standing in front of this guy right the guy that has the puck at the top here so the guy that's right here on your screen that's the guy that has the puck i don't remember who this guy is sorry if you guys can hear that really loud truck i live right next to a road so that kind of sucks but anyway so blake wheeler here has the puck now the guy that's going to end up scoring is the guy closest to this guy i think this is joe pavelski now what ends up happening is i don't know what he tries to do here but somehow he manages to deke three people three of them Every single person here. So this is Mark Shifley, who I think is an 87 overall. Uh, David Pasternak, who's an 86, I believe. And Justin Falk, who's an 85 or something. I think uh, Wheeler's, what, an 85, 86 maybe? So none of these guys can get the puck. 
apparently. So I try to poke check because I think he's going to go to the outside. Pass track, I don't know what he's doing there. And then Falk just kind of is just like, I'm just going to block all you guys so you can't really do anything. So then we're going to get to the front of the net where he does a little puck pickup animation. My guy's stuck in an animation and then somehow puts it in between my blocker and my uh, pad from point blank range. So another kind of crap goal. So nothing really too much to complain about on this goal. But after the first two, it just felt like I was getting screwed the rest of the game. Now, if you guys have known me for a while, you guys know that I'm pretty good at comebacks in NHL. And about four minutes after, it looks like I'm going to end up getting another goal. So here we go. We are three, on, or actually we're two v three in the zone. The guys close, or the opponent is the guy closest on the left hand side there, and he's on that guy. Obviously, I'm the guy with the puck. So what's going to end up happening is here is I'm trying to read this play from about this camera angle, and what I see is okay. I have a two v one basically with two guys behind me. All I have to do is wait out the defenseman, pass it cross crease, and I should have a good chance to score. So that's exactly what I do. So I'm going to skate a little bit to the right here, hold it out, get around this guy who goes for a hit. Hitting is broken, by the way, in this game, in case you didn't notice. So then I'm like, all right, wait, 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 wait. And then what also do I see here is a broken stick. So this doesn't have any effect on the play. It was just something I noticed. But then here with the puck, I pass across. And by the time I do anything with it, I'm going to end up scoring. So no big deal here, right? I had to outwork this guy and get in behind this guy's defense and pass it in order to score. Just remember that one. So I have to work for my goal. And then it, that's also not even mentioning the times that I went down, worked it around and scored. And then finally, or not scored, but worked it around, shot and missed a couple of times. And then a little bit after that, we have our, is this the third goal of the game, I think? So this was another play where I kind of literally just grabbed the puck with Galchenyuk and just sped down the right side of the ice. I tried to abuse the defensive skill sticks, like lack of realisticness, I guess I'll call it. And uh, you could like you could keep your stick there all day long and nothing would really happen to you. So it's gonna end up going through both, I think both my skates, maybe one of them, but either way, he tries to do it again and I'm gonna get around him. So, all right, Zach Wierenski, no big deal there. He's not terrible, but he's not the best. So we're gonna try to work our way around here. The camera angle is a little bit weird here. So what I am gonna end up noticing is here, I'm gonna try to take it to the net. However, I noticed at the last second that I have, I think this is John Klingberg over here. Can this camera angle work? Okay, yeah, this is Klingberg. So I noticed him and he's coming in on the far post. And what ends up happening is he perfectly does an animation to where he's going to one-time it. And for once in my life, the one-timers actually work. Puts it in. I believe this is a tie game at this point. And I'm like, yes, this finally happens. And we're back to an even playing surface. So at this point in the game, I'm like, all right, we're back to an even playing surface. It's tied three to three. You know, let's go into the third period and absolutely just dominate this kid because I'm on the comeback You know, I've scored three straight goals. This guy is absolutely shook. Let's get into the third period. However, right at the end of the second period, I don't remember exactly what happens, but I somehow I work my way to get a little bit of a breakaway, kind of like a two on one sort of situation when it's really a 3v4 in the zone. And I'm going to work my way here with Mark Stone, and I'm going to take it to the outside here with a nice little move. Kind of fools the other guy, and it kind of catches this other, I guess it's his right defenseman, kind of sleeping a little bit. And I'm going to end up passing it, scoring with 0.5 seconds on the clock. <laughs> yeah, 0.5 seconds left in the second period. So I was absolutely hyped, right? I was like, all right, I just outworked this kid, you know, for the entire game so far. The first 40 minutes, I'm like, I got this game. So it was four to three, heading into the third period, and this is where I turned it on. During the third period, I had so many chances of going down, shooting, you know, getting down in the zone, working around, getting down, you know, and just absolutely dominating the offensive zone. However, none of that seemed to matter. So on this fourth goal by him, it does some stupid D to where I did not do this deep, right? I wasn't even plus pressing left bumper. I was trying to pass this puck. I don't remember if it shows it here or not, but I tried to pass this puck, I believe to my centerman, who's, I think, yeah. I, or actually it wasn't my centerman, it was one of those two guys. I mean, Drew is my center, but it was either one of those two guys I was trying to pass it to. So with me trying to pass it to one of those guys, for some reason it deeped. Now, I did not deep for the record. I didn't press the left bumper to try to one like, there's no point for me to, you know, try to deke this. Like, I'm skating, like, I don't remember where I got the puck, but I skated out this way, and then it somehow it dekes right here, and then it makes me do this. 
So instead of, you know, getting back because it did a stupid deke, right? He somehow gets the puck and just goes down and does some... Actually, this is even the same one I was thinking of. So I'm thinking about the overtime uh, winner from him. But anyway, he has Mitch Marner, right? He tries to do a little, like, forehand backhand move. But guess what happens again? I'm going to perfectly time a poke check to where what happens? It goes... It goes in. Now, this one I can't really be too mad at because I did poke check it towards the net in a way, but also not because if you're a goalie in this situation, nine times out of ten, you're going to be in the butterfly. Like, already. Like, right here, you're going to be in the butterfly. You're not going to be standing up right here. You're most likely going to be in a butterfly getting ready to push one way or the other. You're not going to be still standing up here. Anyway, so let's get in on, you know... And also, I just want to bring up the fact that I did about four breakaways in this game and did different moves each time. I didn't score on a single one of them is also crap. But anyway, so once again, we have Klingberg in here, perfectly timed poke check. And I don't know what kind of animation this was from the goalie, but, it, wh but what is this? He acts like he just got shot or something in the stomach here. And he just kind of flops around. And if his pad was on the ground, which it should have been, it probably would have gone through my pad and he would have scored anyway. But still, just another crap animation that allows him to give him a fourth goal when he absolutely does not deserve it. So getting into overtime, at this point, I am absolutely angry because I dominated this kid. I had to work for my goals. This kid got given basically everything he got in this game, right? Everything bad that could have happened was bad. So off this initial rush in overtime, I got an amazing chance. Scott, Me Scott Niedermeyer, 92 overall. Nice little forehand, backhand move, doesn't score. I get a couple more chances, don't score. Get a nice, really nice chance, 2 on 0, don't score. The first chance this guy gets in overtime, let's show it to you. He's got Zach Wierenski. Let's back it up a little bit because we didn't want to go that far. Let's go to the, uh, the start here. So somehow he ends up getting the puck. And my guys weren't back at all. I think I was on a four on three and the guy just came out. Kind of sucks because this guy somehow gets behind my defenseman. Does like the dumbest little move and scores. Now, my goalie, I don't know what is going on with my goalies. But every single time they react so stupid. Like look at how far he is over here. It's like I did that same move with better players and they don't move that much. But then somehow when I'm dominating, dominating the game... All of a sudden, my, my players turn stupid, I swear. So anyway, he pulls off some little, I guess, nice, I don't really want to call it a nice, but average uh, move, and then he ends up scoring. So I guess kind of to recap this game, I had to work for all my goals, and this guy got given all of his goals because I poke check it, it goes in. I poke check it, it goes under my pad, through it, or some stupid animation causes me to lose. Now... Obviously, I can't really help the fact that this EA is not the grace with animations, but this has got to be changed because, I, like I said, I dominated this kid the entire game. Even though the stats were close, it doesn't show the, the true story. And it's just stupid that the fact that when someone works so hard to win and then the other guy gets given all of his stuff and it's like, I'm working so hard, but this guy's getting given the same thing for doing nothing, it just sucks. And it makes me so angry that this is still in the game. So if you guys did enjoy, hit that like button down below. Comment what you guys think of this, I guess, ridiculousness in NHL 18 down in the comment section below. And subscribe for more. Anyway, guys, I'll see you later. Jumping off the porch like mom's not home. Just a couple kids living on our own. Summer nights, love them how they take so long. Run with the feeling of being alive while we're still young.